Well, cheers, buddy. Cheers, buddy. Cheers, buddy. Uh, I'm Roman. I'm Mike. Good to All see right. you guys again. Yeah. And we are talking about uh, Doppelbox today. Doppelbox. Yeah. This will be an interesting beer, you know? Yeah. So what do you got? You got the... Uh... I got uh, Icelandic Bach, Doppelbach. Uh, it's a German beer uh, from Iceland. Iceland. So, yeah, you definitely got a German beer. <laughs> Mine's like the uh, uh, Ventinus. I don't know. I, de- I feel like I've had this before, but uh, but we'll see. We'll yeah, see. I've seen that one on shelves. Yeah. Let's start with you. Okay. Well, uh, we'll see how this one is. It's, uh, Crack these open. I, I know I'm going to butcher this name, but it's, uh, <laughs> it's not uh, in Stotic. It's Dotic Brewing Company. I know they're from Iceland. Um, one thing I heard about these beers is that they actually used the water from like the glaciers to make this beer. So I'm hoping that's going to be fabulous. Um, so uh, yeah, Double Box is a good style beer. Where you don't really hear too much about it. It's a lager, you know. So um, we'll see how this. Uh, I do love my lagers. Ooh, copper color. Ooh, look at you with your fancy glass. Hey man, I got three glasses. I got a couple. <laughs> oh, yeah. oh, they're they're super similar. Yeah, definitely a copper color. You know, these are the SRMs are usually copper to uh, a dark brown. Um, I know this one. I know the ABVs from them are between like six to eight percent. Uh, this one's six point seven. So um, we'll see how. Usually, like I said, they, these uh, usually extra strong, rich. Uh, longer style beers, sweet malts from Munich and Vienna malt. Um, Got some like dark fruits, like plums and raisins. Mmm. Very malty, biscuity. I'm getting ooh. Um, ooh. boozy. <laughs> yeah, boozy note to that. But yeah, I'm, no real hop profile to it, but it's all. All grains, stone fruit, stone fruit, or uh, raisin plum taste to that, or I'm getting like raisins out of this one. When was the last time you ate a raisin? <laughs> and I don't eat raisins; they're gross. It's nice and dark, but is it like clear or a little? Uh... They're filtrated. Uh, it's not too clear, but it's 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 a good clear. It's a good clarity to it. Um, like I said, a good copper color. Like I said, usually they come out to, like, yeah, this is a nice copper color. Usually it comes to copper, you know, um, or, you know, dark brown. Like I said, usually these beers are strong, rich. I got a lot malty. I got, like, a big booze note to it. Uh, even though it being 6.7%, it is, like, a boozy note to it. But it's 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 enjoyable. Like, this is definitely, like, these are, like, definitely, like, the, the Oktoberfest-style German beers that I like. The... the the bills, you know, uh, it's the fun thing I love to be in being brewing is because I want to make beer, you know, and this is like, like I said, I haven't had one in such a long time, but this just brings me back. And it's just like, ah, this is what beer is supposed to taste like, you know, toasted, malted barley, a little bit of caramel yeah. into that, uh, from the caramel malts. Uh, but then you also get the Munich and the Vienna malts to give it a good body taste to it. It's like a great body to this beer, but it's just like, this is definitely uh Oh, a beer beer. That's what I love about it. I haven't had one of these in a long time. I'm glad we're doing like, you know, expand it off from doing the breweries and be like, let's do a style. So yeah. Uh, yeah. yeah. No, no, this is cool. How would you rank this? Like, would you buy it again? Would you, uh, you know, rating system one to five? Yes, I would, uh, I would definitely buy this again. Uh, this would definitely be even like a nice spring beer more towards fall. Uh, I would say for myself. But yeah, I would definitely buy this again if it's a nice spring day like how we have it today. Um, I would give this like a four. A four. Okay. Good solid four. Um, I would definitely buy this again. Like I said, this brewery, like I said, is from Iceland. Um, I see stuff here and there from them. Uh, it's like a cool logo with the Vikings, but it's, like I said, it's like a, mm. it's like a Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer on it. I don't know what the heck that was from. I don't know if this came out from like a Christmas beer. Uh, it's not too old. I saw, saw a dick put on it. Oh, yeah. Oh, it just says Best Buy, October uh, 16th, 2020, 2019. Oh, well, that's still good. 
It's just so small to your beers, you can let them sit. So yeah. it, it's uh, it's still good. I enjoy it. I like this. I really like this a lot. So nice. I might have to start looking to, to break off from the IPA bracket. So it's just like just something to have different. It's really nice. So uh, what do you think about your beer? How do you like it? Nice. Well, okay. So I've got the uh, the Schneider Schneider Weiss uh, <laughs> Aventinus. It's I I've definitely had this before, and yeah. I I really do like this. I think it's like super good. Um, this is so it's it's got like this. It's definitely a little clearer than yours for sure. I mean, I also got like some yeah, good crazy light, light yeah, coming in from which is actually good for this. Yeah, um, it's got this nice like khaki color like foam head to it um yeah. it's uh very very drinkable like easily drinkable um the aroma you said raisins and that's or a dark fruit or a plum definitely i'm yeah it's definitely like fruity like there's definitely some fruity notes to it like yeah, plums yeah. like raisins like stuff that can like be dehydrated <laughs> i feel like <laughs> <I'm> definitely <laughs> They're definitely in here. Even like maybe some apricot or something. Actually, what? apricot would be a really, yeah. This is honestly, like I, like I said, I'm very impressed. I haven't had one in a long time. It's, yeah. I, it's for me. It's like it's. I'm I'm kind of comparing it a little bit of like a Belgian style, but also it does use lager yeast. What they say, it's you know the lager beers. So I'm getting. I get like a little bit of like the Belgian, like the Belgians, you get the cloves and like banana yeah. flavors. I'm not really getting, or bubblegum. I'm getting like a Belgian, like a little Belgian spice, nothing like bananas or bubblegum or anything like that. Um, but I'm just getting that like Belgian, like tone, but it's also, I'm getting that lager where it's just like a little dry at the end. So it's, um, plus the multi plus, like I said, this is for a 6.7. I'm getting a heavy booze note. Man, that could be because it sat in the fridge for a while, but it's, it's delicious. It is fucking delicious. So this is 8.2 oh, and geez. it is like, I do not like, doesn't come off as 8.2. Okay, okay. This is like, it is, I will say it's a, I don't want to say like very syrupy, but it just has like just this little bit of like stickiness to it. Like not super syrupy, like yeah. still easy to drink, but like you can almost taste it. Like it almost leaves like, like a touch sugar? of a film on your mouth. Like yeah. just like, you know, but not in a bad way. Just like yeah. as a, like, Hey, I'm still here. You know, like, <laughs> um, I, I think cause I wanted to start looking up some recipes to do a homebrew for a, a double I was talking to my buddies about. And, um, uh, I don't know if they use candy sugar. We've done it before in Belgian beers we've made uh, at home, but I don't know. It does have that like tone where it could have like a candy sugar or a film on it, which you know it, it's fine. It's it's good to me. Uh, but this, like I said, this is a real solid beer. You know, I'm, I'm, gonna keep, I'm gonna start keeping my eyes out for trying to move away from certain IPAs, even though like, I love my IPAs, but just to move on forward. You know, because yeah. it's a great style. No logo wise there's a place for these kind of very uh, uh <laughs> you know the bright purple and gold i think that's cool it's very royal looking but man that's a i don't know that's a very old schooly kind of logo which yeah, is yeah, fine yeah. because like these guys i mean if you look at their website this beer's won like a buttload of awards they can do whatever they want they're clearly at the top of their game so their logo can be anything. Uh, this, this is actually a little bit of an older bottle on their website. The logo is similar, but it's a little more updated. Um, I don't think this is going to catch my eye like some other logos, but this is a different style of beer. They're not competing with a bajillion, like uh, New England IPAs recently. Yeah, you, yeah, yeah. Those guys have to compete like like – literally like cases of new england ipas right now oh, yeah. that's like oh, the yeah. hotness yeah. uh so these guys don't necessarily have to compete with that mm -hmm. uh all that they're they're literally just going on straight up taste like our <laughs> beer tastes amazing so um yeah no i'm like logo wise it might be a touch boring but that purple man that tells you like royal people drink this <laughs> so um, yeah, it's definitely yeah you would definitely know it's more of a german style yeah beer and, and, like, and that's yeah. fine that's cool 
Yeah, and this is how they make it. It's not like how we've, we've been talking about the New England styles where they're putting different adjuncts in there and tons of wheat and tons of lactose and, uh, you know, fruit and adjuncts and everything else. This is just a German style way, hops, barley, yeast, and water. Like, this is how beer is supposed to be made. This is how it's supposed to, and it's always over in those European countries that it's the German law. It's like, this is how you make beer. I think if we sent over a four pack of New England style IPAs, they probably, like, blow it up you know <laughs> just put a grenade on it and just like this is a beer boom they're like no no, yeah. no this is good beer but it's like this is like like a you know iceland that's probably uh, i don't know what country that one's from but it's definitely a german uh, i believe germany yeah yeah i'm guessing because i really didn't do any research so <laughs> germany product of germany yep yeah 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 no dude this tastes is like you got you got a little bit like i don't want to say like like i said this is a little bit more of like a lingering Sugar, like, you know, when you get an Oktoberfest style beer, you get all the malt, you know, you know yeah. and it's just like, you know, that's a German style beer. That's an Oktoberfest beer. Like, I'm going to have a bratwurst with crap with this and everything else. That's a German beer. They're going to definitely, I could definitely have a bratwurst and crap with this or any type yeah. of pork or something, meat product. Duh, this is definitely good German style beer, you know? Nice. Like, I, I, yeah, no, I'm giving this a solid, ah, oh man, I want to give this a 4.5. Everything I've reviewed is like a 4.5. Like, I guess I only pick beers I want to drink, but like, this is a solid 4.5. This is exactly what I drink, you know, whenever my birthday recently, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. we went to that, uh, well, it's, a, it's a beer house. It's a German beer house. In the, yeah, uh, German. So we went to a German beer house for my birthday and this is the style of beer I drank. This is what I, and I mean, I drank giant like Leaders. those Leaders. giant liter and, and it was awesome and that's something i will say like for 8.2 percent this is super easily drinkable like yeah. easily yeah. easily drinkable and i think it might be just that little bit of sugar that's in here because you can really taste that like it's, it's sweet good too it's got like you know it's easy it's just so easy to drink oh yeah. my god i'm Look gonna get through this like I said, I got the booziness from it from a 6.7, but it is just, oh yeah, it's definitely. Well, they're, di they're, you know, different manufacturers. They, you know, different yeah, yeah, stuff. Yeah. So, and yours has been sitting a little longer than mine. So mine, mine, uh, expiration was 5, 15, 19, or at least, no, no, that's when it was made. 5, 15, 19. All right. So I'm a little late to the party on this one, but it literally says on the bottle, like, Totally can be cellared for enjoyment. So this has been sitting for a bit and it's still delicious, which is awesome because I, I know, I know New England IPAs, they definitely get worse after like a month or two. Like it just doesn't keep it. Uh, and is that science question? Science question. Is that because of the, the, the amount of malt and like sugariness in here that kind of keeps yeah. it? Yeah. Yeah. It, it could be like, it's not oxidized. It's, depending on how it's packaged. Uh, you know, you get the off flavored notes for an oxidized, an oxidized beer, where an oxidized beer tastes like cardboard, straight up cardboard, and you get like off flavor. You know, it's like you know, cardboard and flat. That's where you just you get those off notes. That's where you would get from like IPAs that are on the shelf for like two months. But this is just because it's just all malt. They're yeah. they're meant to be put on a shelf for shelf life and everything else. Yeah, you know, like those beers they freaking made like two. 2,000 cases of that, you're not going to drink a six-pack of eight percenters in one night. Well, we shouldn't, but <laughs> it's like we've had before, but it's just like, it's one of those things like they have a good shelf life. It, it's, it's not like it's a dark bottle, so it's not going to get skunked yep. from light. So you could actually put that and put it in your basement. You know, if you had a window coming in, you know, get some light in, it's not going to affect the beer. You yep. know, it's not going to get sunstruck. Uh, you know, sunstruck like, destroys beers. That's why sometimes if you have a beer outside a pint glass, and it get hit by light, and all of a sudden you're like, oh man, I got some funky notes out of this. It's just like, what happened? It's the light affecting the beer. That's why all these bottles are brown. Like all the uh, three bottles that you have over there are uh, they're brown bottles, right? Or a green bottle that you have? Uh, they're all brown. I had I I brought out some backup beer to the one sure how this one was gonna be. So I have two others in reserve, but we're not gonna talk about those. We're just gonna yeah. talk about this one. Yeah. Yeah. This is, uh, yeah, it's all brown bottles. They're, dude, the Germans know what they're doing when it comes to beer. Yes, yes, just, yes, yes. Beer, beer, beer. <laughs> and this is a solid beer. It kind of makes me miss the fact that, like, I've been wanting to go to, uh, what do you call it? There's a uh, the golf resort 
in the Poconos that does this giant German uh, Oktoberfest thing. I've wanted to go for years. I've just never had time. I know, I know. We uh, we went to German uh, Oktoberfest in Philadelphia uh, years back, and it was such a great time. And it's just you have a liter of mug, and you walk around, and it was on yeah. South Street in Philly. And you can get certain type of German beers. And it had the Bra House right on, I think it was like Ninth and South. But it's a German place, and they close off like two streets, and you can just drink a ton of German beer. And it, it's great. Like I said, I do miss this from, like I said, from us drinking all those New England and hazy beers and juicy beers to have something like this to do like, hey, beer style, Doppelbach. I really think this is something that needs to be like really looked at right now because it's, it's something different and it's yeah. super tasty and like, ah, this, it is. Oh, mine in, in particular is easy to drink, which is dangerous, <laughs> but... I know. Because I've only had one bottle and I feel a little hmm. <laughs> but no nah, man. And and I really do I appreciate on the bottle that it's literally like, no, nah, save it. Like yeah. sell it until you're ready to drink it. That is awesome. Yeah. Like that's, that's a that's that's a mark of like, we know our beer's fucking good, buddy. Mm -hmm. Like it's good. Yeah, yeah. It's most of the beers that come out now, like I said in the past episodes, like what IPA should I get or pale ale? Make sure it's fresh. Yeah. These all beers, they, I'm not going to say they're not going to be fresh, but what if they're fresh, they'll be like, oh my God, this is phenomenal. Yeah. You know, but it's, it's, as long as this was sat, like I said, this was, like I said, I think it was Best Buy 2019. I was like, oh, okay. But it sat, sat comfortably and it tastes amazing. Like I said, I'm, a, I'm really, I can pick up oxid, oxidized beers very fast. So like I got a straight palate. And if I have an oxidized beer, I, I can't drink it. I'm just, I'm such a beer snob, asshole, whatever. I'm just like, nope, nope, no, nope, I can't drink this. And someone else can drink it. I'm like, I'm not tasting what you're drinking. I'm like, so, well, I'm trained. My palate's trained. So knowing this one, this one's, like I said, this one's, oh man, that's good. <laughs> really good. Nice. So mine's, mine's a definite recommend for sure. The eventiness. <laughs> I'm giving it, yeah, like this, this is a four, four point five, four point three, four point three. There you go. There you go. We can bring it down to whatever we want. Just because, nah, just because four point three. That's where I'm going. But this is delicious, and I, I highly recommend it. What about yours? Show your, show your bottle so everybody can see it. Yeah, like I said, give it a like a four. But yeah, no, this one's a uh, really good. Like I said, it was like a German, or no, not German, like Viking logo on it. So, but like I said, it has a red nose. I should have freaking worn my Viking helmet, you know? Oh, no. uh, next yeah. time, next time we do another Doppelbach beer or Swartz beer or something like that. Um, yeah, man. You know, no, no, th this, is, this has been great. I'm definitely 4.3 on mine. What's your number? What'd you say? Four? Yeah, four. I would give it like a, yeah, four, 4.15. Ah! You know, so we're going that way but yeah no this is a definitely solid beer like i said i haven't had like a good german like well it's icelandic but malty goodness a little boozy get the plum and raisin stone fruit to it it this is just a good beer this is just beer you know i, I enjoy it nice i really like it nice man well i think that's a that's a wrap for the beers of the week. Yes, it is. Yes, yeah. it is. All right, man. Well, I'll see you on the fucking flippity flip. <laughs> <laughs> All right, my flippy floppy. <laughs> That's exactly how we're ending it. Like. <laughs>